What is up guys? It is Christ and we are back with another Dream Theater reaction. Welcome back to Dream Theater Thursday. This is by far uh, my favorite band that I've reacted to on this channel and I'm super excited to check this one out. This is the, um, I think, uh, fourth or fifth song in the, um, in the songs chronicling the 12 step program, I believe, and that's what this song is about. So um, without further ado, we're going to get into it. There's going to be one more song that I'm going to do after this. It's Shattered Fortress. People say that that's the last one in the 12-step program, or at least chronicling the 12-step program. So we're going to be doing that one last. And then uh, after that, we're going to be reacting to random Dream Theater songs that people suggest. So without further ado, let's get started. Dead. 
Sometimes you've got to be wrong Learn the hard way Just when you're through hanging on You're saved
Holy crap. Count of Tuscany, I think this is one you guys wanted to hear. That'll come eventually. Right now the focus is on uh, this song, Repentance. What did I think of this song? This was definitely an intriguing one. I would say that musically, this is probably the least favorite one that I've heard so far. But lyrically, this is, this is a deep song. Like, this is probably the deepest song I've heard. And it got me thinking about a lot of stuff that I've done in my past. And whether you're a religious person or you're not, there's things that we can all agree on that we've all done. Things that we wish that we could take back. Things that we've said. Things that we've done. And you just got to let go of that. Because if you live with that guilt for the rest of your life, it's going to eat you up inside. And that's something that I've had to face. There's been there's things that I've done that I've had to come to terms with. And I've had to let go of myself. So let me guys know what let me let me know what you guys thought of the song, because my mind is focusing on some of the things that were said. Some people there was several, I guess, confession stories from different popular artists that were in this song, and I never expected that to be in here. So that's definitely um Got me in a pretty, uh, I wouldn't say depressed mood, but thoughtful mood. Um, and so I'm going to give this song, I'm going to give this song a nine and a half, simply because of the lyrics alone. The lyrics, musically, like I said, th this was my least favorite, the instrument wise. Um, but lyrically, this is the most powerful song I've, I've heard by them. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely like this song. It's definitely a really good one. Well, they listen to it again, absolutely, in the future. Um, so that's going to be my review of this song, guys. Let me know what you thought of it. If you disagree with me on any points, you're free to, to uh, say so in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more Dream Theater. I am going to be doing this every single Thursday until I have heard every single Dream Theater song, which is likely years from now. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you next time. Comment which song I, want, I should do next. And yeah, this has been Christ. I'll see you next time.